going ladies and gents, Reverend St. Beck again with another video for you guys today. What we're going to be talking about is the PS4 Neo. We have some new news and some new speculations, some new rumors, a bunch of stuff basically. And po possibly, and, and most probably, the uh, announcement date for the new console. Because as we all know, they said it's not going to be at E3. Everyone Originally, everyone thought it was going to be the Scorpio was at E3, which flew a little bit more under the radar than the Neo did. Uh, and, and they decided to not announce it there and, and my theory was they wanted to wait and see what Microsoft was doing They wanted to wait and see what the specs and plan was for the project Scorpio so that they could adjust it uh, um, According to you know Microsoft's platform so uh, that's my theory that was my theory that I had had and it seems like it might possibly be true according to these rumors and supposed uh, quote-unquote leaks all right so we're gonna get into this here I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay in the background it's a pretty solid one if I remember correctly I got it on my theory mode I don't I don't remember exactly how good that is so I hope you guys enjoy that in the background let's get into it shall we according to a couple of news uh, sites I can't remember all their names I do apologize but they're legit news sites all right uh, I got most of this information from the no by the way because they're they basically are doing what i'm doing uh so you guys can go check them out i guess uh if, if you want the actual names and stuff like that i just want to talk about it and give you guys my opinion uh and what i think um but uh a bunch of new sites got an invite to a media briefing event type thing for sony now this briefing takes place september 7th and according to all of these new sites it's going to be the official announcement and and reveal of the ps4 neo they're going to show uh some technical capabilities what what we could expect it to be able to do in gaming which is cool which kind of makes me think they don't have any games ready yet but i also kind of have an idea that it might have a certain game that's ready for it and that certain game will be the game i talked about yesterday and that is destiny 2 why well we get, just got those leaks right we got them from i guess it came from snapchat so we don't know if it's 100 percent legit like i said they look legit we just don't know uh but it could be the fact that destiny's actually might be a little bit beefed up on the ps4 neo and they're going to use a type of technical showcase for destiny on ps4 neo that might be what they're doing i i i, I that's my prediction is that that's going to be their technical showcase is destiny stuff and it's probably going to be some stuff we might see in destiny 2 now it's probably not going to be a destiny 2 announcement kind of like how we had the mass effect uh uh uh, uh i guess vidoc i guess years ago it wasn't really a mass effect 4 announcement but it showed some models and some stuff that, that that's capable that would they were capable of doing basically and i think that's what we're going to get with destiny on the ps4 neo when they do actually reveal it i think that, that'd be really cool but it's a lot sooner than i expected i think the playstation experience doesn't happen until december i think technically uh but this event is happening september 7th so that's that's actually pretty soon and it's like right after i get back from cod xp so it's gonna be a pretty busy week or a couple weeks there i guess with news about ps4 neo but here's another rumor that had come out and this rumor comes from the same guys who leaked the specs or had uh, revealed or started the rumor of the specs of the ps4 neo the original specs and the scorpio comes from these guys so you might you take it with a little bit more than a grain of salt maybe two grains of salt throw some pepper in there who knows it might be accurate might not be but apparently there were some talks around sony uh about trying to upgrade the hardware in the ps4 neo to combat the project scorpio because if you guys remember when the specs for the ps4 neo were leaked it was originally only about four teraflops now I say only uh because the project scorpio is six six terif two teraflops more that's a big deal that's like that's like a 150 200 leap in power when you when you take it in terms of a gpu or at least previous generations of gpus not really the current one obviously but previous generations that's like a 200 leap right there if you wanted to get go from four teraflops to six teraflops you'd probably spend 200 plus the more dollars to get that big of an upgrade uh so and obviously like i said before i'm not going to explain what a teraflop is exactly just imagine it as a general uh rating for the power output capability of the gpu in the console and or your computer there's a lot more that goes into a gpu or a graphics card uh to make it good or better it's not all just teraflops obviously uh but that is a good general idea for people who don't quite fully understand uh all of the stuff that goes into a gpu so i'm just throwing that out there i had a lot of people 
try to combat me with that on previous videos like this but that like i said i'm just it's just an encompassing example all right anyway moving on so they said they wanted to to kind of uh take a break or not take a break but consider trying to upgrade the hardware to combat the the project scorpio because like four to two that's a big difference now for the 1.8 which is what the current ps4 is is a huge difference so obviously it's way better than the current ps4 but it's still not quite six teraflops you know uh so what a lot of what these guys said or what a lot of people speculate is that they're just going to be doing some overclocking like with uh what xbox one did with the xbox one s they overclocked it a bit to make some things run better some games do actually run better on the xbox one s uh according to uh people i've talked to and, and also the know themselves so that's cool i could see them doing that but they're not going to get two whole teraflops more out of overclocking stuff they might add some more ram who knows uh but that is that's some big news right there guys i guess you could say we could see some sort of destiny 2 not really destiny 2 announcement but destiny kind of target render i guess you could say what they're going with in this tech demo for the ps4 neo that's what it's going to be it's going to be a tech demo uh at least that's what all of these new sites had said uh so that's pretty freaking awesome in my opinion let me know what you guys think in the comments down below i think it's cool i'm excited to see what they do and how much power they're able to uh to dish out apparently the dev versions or the dev builds of these consoles will be going out to developers pretty soon which means uh, uh, it's not too far down the road from release. We could probably be seeing that pretty soon. Some people are speculating this year. I don't think so. I think they'll probably try to wait, maybe get like the beginning of next year. Because if their console isn't as, power of, uh, as powerful as Scorpio, they're going to try and get the jump on it to remain their lead. So you know that, uh, that Sony really doesn't want to give up their lead in the console war. So they're trying their best uh, to do... Uh, or what, what Microsoft can't basically right now, which is probably release earlier. So that's my speculation. Let me know what you guys think, like I said, down below in the comments. I'd love to hear what your guys' opinions are. Don't forget to leave a like, a share, and hit that subscribe button if you have not. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for yet another video. Peace.